What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a crazy team for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Justified Terrakian team alongside with Unburdened Weakness Policy Sceptile. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. We are on the road to 10k subscribers. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Scroll down. It only takes a second of your guys' time. All you got to do is scroll down a little bit and click that subscribe button. It really does go a long way. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Trenton. And oh my god, it looks so much fun. It looks amazing to use. Hopefully we can catch some wins with it on the rank double ladder. We have some cool Pokemon such as Skeptile over here, who is actually really strong, but nobody really uses him because he's not like meta. But then we also have Glalie over here, who is a Pokemon that nobody ever uses. And I don't think I ever use him on the rank double ladder. So it's going to be fun to try him out and trying to get some wins with him. But getting started with this team, we have Dragapult up in this top left corner with Clear Body and that Focus Dash. And he's here just to support and pester around. We got Breaking Swipe. To lower the opposing Pokemon's physical attack, beat up to pair up with this uh, Terrakion, get that attack boost and roll up from there. Willow with to burn physical attackers and Alice, which protect allied Pokemon. Right next to him is that Terrakion. Justified ability for that beat up. We can go up plus four if we want to in attack right off the rip. And we got that Lumberry so we can't go to sleep, can't get paralyzed, all that good stuff. And eat that berry so we can stay alive. We got close combat for stab, rock slide for stab, EQ for a coverage move, and protect as our final move. Middle left is Incineroar. Cannot have a solid team without Incineroar. Such a good Pokemon all around. We got Intimidate ability, Citrus Berry to give it a little bit more HP when it falls below half. Flare Blitz, Dark Slayer, both for stab moves. Parting Shot to pivot out, drop special or physical attack, and fake out for the flinches. Right next to him is going to be a Pokemon that I'm going to have so much fun using. Every time I use this Pokemon, it rocks out. It is always fun to use. We got Unburdened Ability and that Weakness Policy. So when the Weakness Policy gets proc, we get a huge speed boost due to that ability. Energy Ball for Stab, Dragon Pulse, Rock Slide, and Detect all for our coverage moves. Bottom left is going to be Togekiss, Super Luck Ability, and Scope Blend. So crits are going to be coming out crazy. We got Dazzling Gleam, Air Slash, both for Stab. Follow me to protect ally Pokemon and protect as our final move. Our final Pokemon is going to be Glalie, a Pokemon that no one ever uses. Like, I cannot wait to show this off. And I'm curious if we can actually give this thing the Evo Light. Considering, no, or is it only for first stages? I totally forget how Evo Light works. But technically, that's not its final evolution. So I'm thinking maybe we can give it the Evo Light. Somebody let me know in the comment section down below. This thing has Inner Focus and Wise Glasses as its item. We got Freeze Drive for Water Pokemon. Frost Breath, Ice Shard for first turn priority so we can proc weakness policy for Skeptile and protect it as our final move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, you guys know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Try to get some wins with this Justified Terrakian and Unburdened Skeptile team. Before we get started with battle number one, we got ourselves an important question of the day, and that is, what can I do to make my channel better overall? I've been thinking about this recently, and I was like, yo, let me ask the Jeans Online Gaming community, see what they think, see if they can give me some constructive criticism, and see if I can make my videos and everything better for you guys to watch and enjoy. But we're hopping into battle number one. We're going up against a Reggie Gagas team and a Santa Conda team. Ooh, a little big off meta here. Big off meta. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. He also has the Weezing. He also has the uh, Fish's Rendrake. Fish was scary. The Scent the Scorch and the Jigglypuff. Ooh. Little Jigglypuff action here. I'm digging it. I like that a lot. Um, I don't want to go into Skeptile. Maybe unburden that. Get rocking out from there. That does seem pretty good. He also has the Santa Conda. He has the Scent Scorch, which is kind of scary. I think actually Terrakion and Dragon Bolt can just steamroll this. And then we'll go Incineroar and Togekiss. I think that's really good. I think we can just come out here and dominate this battle with these, this group. We'll keep Skeptile and Glalie in the back end. Maybe show him off in uh, battle number two or three. We're definitely going to show them all. But I just feel like Terrakion's the better overall choice up against these Pokemon. These specific Pokemon. We can just roll out here and dominate this battle. But your boy's been on a tear for double battles. I've been playing so well. I think like the past six or seven uh, videos, we got winning records on, and some of them have been perfect records, especially last battle. We had a nice little perfect record with an anti-meta team. If you guys haven't checked that one out, definitely go check it out. It was an awesome video. We dominated and got to show off some cool Pokemon in that one. But he leads to Regigigas. Shiny. Both shiny. They look awesome. I think Regigigas looks dope with like that. Uh... Oh, we can't beat up. We can't beat up because of neutralizing gas. That's rough news. I don't like that one bit. Good EQ. I could totally EQ. Hmm. Is this close combat? I can't go for a slide that's full of rocks. Which might be our play. I'm gonna start throwing burns. I'm gonna start throwing burns on these Pokemon. Let's run it. But we can't Dynamax because we can't go for the beat up. 
our uh, abilities are not there. Gonna Dynamax the Reggie. The Reggie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who I think is physical attacking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's why I burned it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get him out my game. <laughs> I think it's physical, right? It's definitely physical. I know it rocks like max up and all that. So let's see. Let's see what, how we're going to do this here. Weezing's going to protect all. Oh, poor little Weezing. Thinking I'm coming after him. Here's a nice big old wisp of willows. Get him out. Get him out of here. Big old burn on him. He's going to outspeed me. He is going to go for a quake. Let's see. That's going to go after my Therakion. Able to eat. Yeah, dude. I think he's I think he's physical. I think he's physical. That was easy eats for the boys. He's going to get a special defense boost. Um, I wonder who we're going to Dynamax now. Maybe Togekiss? Probably Togekiss over in Cinderella all day. Let's see. It's crazy how that uh, Regigigas does outspeed me. I think I'm just going to go for an ally switch here. You get a crit, which is which is awesome. Burn's going to pester away. I think we just ally switch and we try to get off a big old close combat here. We get off as much damage as we possibly can. Swap here. Do a little ally switch action. I don't want for the break and swipe, but I really want to keep Terrakion alive here. And hoping that we can uh, get off a uh, close combat. Here goes our switch full of allies. Let's see what his play is. Max Strike coming through here. Ooh! Ooh, wasting Dynamax turn. Terrakion goes. Big close combat. Burn's going to take him out. We get a crit. Yo, what is up with Terrakion? Two crits in a row? Shh. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Shh. I hacked my Terrakion. I hacked him. I hacked him. Burn's going to take out this Regigigas. Yo, we're off to a strong start. Let's go. Let's get it. Your boy's buzzing. Your boy's buzzing. I still have my Dynamax. I still have all four Pokemon. He doesn't have his Dynamax anymore. Run it, baby. Run it. Hopefully, there's out another physical attacker that I can just throw out a nice little burn for. He's trying to taunt me. Let me jiggly punk. I'm confused with what this thing does. It's looking cool. I give this dude props for using Pokemon like this. I really do. Um, I think I'm just going to throw a burn onto this Weezing. Just to do it. Good EQ. But I think I think another close combat's going to be the play. Going over onto the Jiggles. The Jiggles. <laughs> Protect coming out from the Weezing. That's totally fine. What are you doing, Jigglypuff? Are you going to sing? Is that is that what you're going to do? Is that is that what you're, you're, you're here for? That's all I really know a Jigglypuff can do is really just sing. It's definitely Evo Light. I ate it up, no problem. Defense is down. Down for the count. Icy Wind's coming through here. Can Terrakion eat that up? I would love to get off another turn with Terrakion. Oh my god, I think this poo damage. It does no damage. <laughs> no damage whatsoever. Let's see. Um, We got these guys here. We could just go for another will o -Wisp. I think we're just going to burn onto this Weezing. Because another close combat will take out this Jigglypuff. But Weezing might outspeed now due to that ally switch. Oh, yo, you you playing ally switch games with me? Are oh, you crazy, dude. He's crazy. The will o going to come out here. And we're going to miss. That's our first miss. That's okay. Close combat's going to connect. Dude, no damage. Our defense is down. Can you take out my track? Yeah, and I really don't want to hear anymore. What are we, minus three on special defense and defense? Let's bomb comes through. Thank you. Bye, Terrakion. <laughs> I was just waiting for us. Like, once he hits me, I'm dead. My defense is so low. But I really want to get off this burn on the Weezy because I was thinking he had the leftovers. And we're going to go Toe Kiss because I really want to Dynamax it. That's just the play. That is just the play. And we're just going to start throwing burns out left and right. Getting speed boost. And rolling out from there. So burn onto the wheezing. Max Airstream onto the Jigglypuff. And I believe a crit is coming. I believe a crit is coming. With the scope lens and the super luck, our crit ratio is through the roof. It's through the roof. I remember I used a team with Intellion. I forget what, uh, it made it get like 100% crit rate. I think, no, it was using Snipe Shot with, uh, Sniper ability and, uh, scope lens. It's 100% crit every single time. Because the move has crit boost, the ability has crit boost, and the item gives a crit boost, which is huge. But dude, this thing protects. Come on, man. Are you double protecting? He's not double protecting. So we do get a, off a of burn here. And he's just pestering out turns, wasting them out left and right. I might swap the Pult. I don't know. We'll see. We might Alice switch next turn. Here goes my Airstream. We have to speed back up a little bit. Oh my god, it's so annoying. This slow battle out here. But it's solid. It is solid. 
He did take out, uh, that was smart for him to lead the Weezing. Because once he got that going, oh, yeah, hey, hey, yo, what are you doing? Sludge bombing me. Don't you poison me. Bruh. Bruh, get out of my face. I'm gonna start taking poison damage. The burn is gonna neglect that, uh, that damage right there. I'm gonna go after Jigglypuff slot. He might ally switch again, which is totally fine. And I might just breaking swipe at this point, or I might swap it to buy Incineroar. What does Jeans one do? Yeah, I might just break and swipe. Actually, it has no effect on the Jigglypuff. I don't even know what I want to do. We're going to try to burn Jigglypuff if I can. I don't even know what I want to do. I'm just going to swap it to my Incineroar. But we're doing it. I'm going to go for an Airstream over on Jigglypuff. Even though I think he's going to ally switch, I think making the easier play is going to be better for us. Let's swap to Polt. Polt can't really do much. I need damage right now. I really need some damage output. This dude's just wasting out my turns, and I really need to get rid of a Pokemon here. There's the ally switch. Dang it, dude. Give me a crit onto this uh, Weezing. Give me a crit onto it. Dang Jigglypuff. Give me a crit. That a crit? That could have been a crit. All right, let's see. No crit? Dang it. Could have used it. Could have used that crit there to take that thing out. Weezing going to go for a Sludge Bomb. Over onto Incineroar. Incineroar's going to be able to eat, and now I can fake out. But Jigglypuff's probably going to protect, so I'm going to fake out the Weezing. This is very annoying. This is a very annoying battle. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> this is very annoying. Uh, we are going to Flare Blitz. I'll Flare Blitz over into Jiggles. Actually, no. I'm going to fake out over into Jiggles. I'm just going to take out uh, Weezing. i go for a Starfall. Now we're going to go for an Airstream. I want speed here. Let's see what happens here. Weezing protects. Oh my lord. I can't do this anymore. This game. It's annoying me. <laughs> here goes the airstream. Can we KO with this? No, we cannot. Oh my lord. All right, we have speed. I can go for a gleam, which could be solid. Oh my. Mm. This battle is just, is just off the walls right now. It's taken forever, and it's really close, to be honest with you guys. Burns are out left and right. Poisons. This, it's just a mess. So we can't ally switch, but I'm just going to gleam at this point. Ally switch don't really matter. I'm going to go for Dark Slayer because I really don't want to take uh, recoil damage. Gleam's going to be play. Actually, let's just go here. Let's do this. Just in case he does ally switch, we are going to throw Dark Slayer over here. Does this not his out speed? Let me took his house speeds. One, eight, yeah, okay. So took his house speeds. So that so that works better in our favor. And I'm just gonna gleam. Gleam uh, can take out the puff. Let's see what he does. I protect the jiggly puff. This is so annoying. Oh my lord! <laughs> hey, dude, we should have totally went after that. Uh. That Weezing. Can we get a crit here and take this thing out, please? Thank you. Was it a crit? It was a crit. Thank you. All right, that works. That works. I dig that turn. I dig it. All right, so now Jigglypuff can't protect. He can ally switch. The neutralizing gas wears off. Our Intimidate comes out. Oh, and that's why we weren't getting as many crits. We don't have a, a super luck right now. We don't have super luck. So he doesn't have a Dynamax. We have speed right now. A Dazzling Gleam is going to take out Jigglypuff, so I'm not worried about it. He's probably going to ally switch, so I am going to read the ally switch. And Santa Scorch is going to come through. Santa Scorch, man. The Scorchins of the Santas. Totally fine. I might just flare what's onto it. Nah, I think Darkest Slayer is going to be a better play. Let's get it. This, and oh, I could air slash, but we're going to gleam. Because a gleam will take out the puff. What's this play? Let's play. As much as I want to go for an air slash. If Togekiss survives this turn, it's going to be GG's easily. He has a chance if he's able to take out one of my Pokemon. And there's the ally switch, which is totally fine. Because the Gleam's going to take out that, and then my Dark Slayer is going to slide over. Okay, cool. I'm with it. That's a fine turn. That's a fine turn. Oh my lord. This battle took us forever, but hey, we're going to get that win for you guys. You guys know we don't do these long battles for nothing. We don't do long battles for nothing. Darkest Slayer popping out here. And is going to be able to whack up on him. Do some big damage. And that's GG's. Fire Lash can come out here. Took it should be able to eat. We do not. Crit, of course. Maybe he's holding the scope ones. Maybe he's holding the scope ones. 
But we know Incineroar outspeeds. We're going to be able to do big damage. And we know we outspeed with this Pokemon right here, Dragapult. He's one fast in the game. But how long was this battle? This battle seems like it was one of the longest battles I ever had. Let's we'll see how much longer it's on the clock. Four minutes. That's not too bad. But we're, we're clicking through our moves uh, decently fast. But Darkest Slayer is going to roll out here. I'm just going to ally switch. Have some fun with it. He's probably going to cancel battle. Yep, there it is. Battle is canceled. We start off the video 1-0. Hopping into battle two, got that win after that long and drawn out battle, but we're going up against a sun team right here. Chlorophyll sun team. He has the nine tails to set the drought. He has the uh, leak on double speed in the sun. He has the Charizard with solar power. He has the sun gift Cherum. And then he has Rotom heat and Dragapult as back end Pokemon. As much as I want to go into Skeptile, I just cannot. It is impossible to bring him out here. We got to go Terrakion and Dragapult. Hopefully actually get off beat, all, beat up this time and roll, roll out from there. I'm going to go Incineroar, and I think I got to go Tokus again. I think we got to go same squad. It's a must. It is a must. But next battle, the third battle, we are totally getting out that, uh, we, we're totally getting out that Skeptile and Clearly Combo, because there's no way I'm using this team and not bringing it out. Like, it's like, I, I how often do I get to get a Clearly on my team? Never. This is like my first time, and I made over 300 Pokemon Sword and Shield videos. But let's see who he leads. It's got to be like Nine Tails, right? Yeah, Nine Tails and Leafeon, so he is going to get that boost right there. Um, I could ally switch, I could beat up. I might ally switch and change weather. And then beat up next turn. But I think Leafeon is gonna Dynamax and go after my Thrakion. Right? Yeah, 100 percent But I am going to actually change up the weather. Do damage on that, and I'm just gonna ally switch. I'm not gonna beat up just yet. Just give me a give me a little second. Give me a hot second. Give me just a minute, because once once I'm able to uh, change up the weather, the we the leak on is going to be slower. Then I can Dynamax to get after that leak on. Well, I am already Dynamaxing, but then I can use the beat up, get my attack boost, and take out the leak on from there. But yeah, that's my prediction. He's Dynamaxing and coming after my Terrakion. Well, let's just see. He might go for a Heat Wave with the uh, Nine Tails, which is which is still scary. Yep, there's the Dynamax. Saw that coming from a mile away. And he's coming after track. Yeah, no problem. That's fine. I'll ally switch and get off my focus ash. Oh, but that could be real tough if he ends up what's calling. If he ends up hitting onto my dragon bolt and then taking him out with like a heat wave or something along those lines. Let's just see his play. Let's just see the move he's making. He's probably like so excited. He's probably just sitting there like, oh yeah, he's Dynamax and we're gonna hit this thing hard. But nah, we're ally switching. We're not going for that beat up. But this is a cool team that we're going up against. I give, I give these people props. We've been playing some fun teams. I don't know why. Like, usually, like, every season before this, when I was playing in Master Ball tier, it's just meta, meta, meta. We've been facing some cool off-meta teams as recently. But there goes my ally switch. We got to protect this Terrakion right here. We got to get this weather changed. He's going to go for a Steel Spike. Into, ooh, 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 I don't like that. You read an ally switch? There's no way you read an ally switch. No way you read an ally switch. I mean, I'm fine with that considering we, we ate that up a lot. There goes the player blitz. We're able to eat that one up all day. Dude, he's going after my Dragapult. Dang, he was targeting down my Dragapult. I could have just went, all, went or beat up and uh, rolled from there. Could have been totally fine. But we take you out. Weather control is in our favor now. I'm going to beat up now and I'm, I'm going to take out this Leafeon. I'm going to say, Leafeon, get out my face. Unless he throws that Charizard. Then I might want to take out the Charizard. Because we do have the instant in the back for that Leafeon. Leafeon. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's see. Could throw off a burn. Isn't that thing physical? There goes Rotom Heat. There is Rotom Heat. Alright, I'm definitely going to beat up here. I'm definitely going to beat up, go for Justified, and I am going to... Do I drop a rock or do I Quake? Now, rocks are best bet. Take out the Leafeon? Do we think we're going to be able to take out the Leafeon? Hmm, Jeans, what do you want to do here? Yeah, we're going to go after this. We're going to roll out with that. You might think we're ally switching, but I think we should be fine. I think we shall be fine. But dude, I, I did not think he was going to target down my Dragon Ball. I ally switched and had Terrakion take all the damage. I could have just beat up and been sitting pretty in this game. I would have just went turn one. It would have been GG's. It would have been over. We would have just went for the sweep here. I would have ally switched next turn. Been totally fine with everything. Here's my beat up. 
But that, that was smart play by me to change up the weather right off the rip. Because if he had weather control, it was kind of over with. Beat up is coming through. We're going to go up plus four. I'm hoping we can outspeed these guys. I don't see uh, what's called taking me out. Rotom heat taking my out my Terrakion. I can only see Leafion. So I'm thinking Terrakion outspeeds and we can take it out in one shot with this Rockfall. Let's see. Let's see how this rolls out. Yep, we outspeed. There's the Rockfall. Can we KO? That's the real question. If we KO here, it's game, set, match. We do not. Not even close. This thing eats. It's tanking up. Overgrowth is coming through and now that's going to KO my Terrakion. And I still think we're sitting decent here. I don't think we're sitting bad. I don't think we're sitting bad. Um, I am going to go into Incineroar. I think Incineroar is going to be the way better option here. And then I could ally switch and just Flare Blitz. Because he does have Quake. We know that for a fact. Thunderbolts can come through. T Bolton. It's easy eats for my boys. I uh, could go Breaking Swipe. It's not like Leaf Down's physical, right? I'm thinking that, right? What do I burn? Good burn. So I burn, it'll just be gone for the rest of the game. Uh, hmm. We'll bring out Togi. And how, let me see these speeds, because we know Terrakion outspread. Terrakion's a little bit faster, 140, yeah. I don't think we're outspeeding that Leafeon. Um, fake out. Yeah, let's go into the I'm going to fake out onto the Rotom slot. And I think I'm just going to throw a burn onto Leafeon. Onto Leafeon. Get after it. Nice big old Intimidate. I'll battles, but these ones are longer today. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what this is all about. Let's throw a burn right there. And just fake out. Get that flinch rolling. Waste some turns and waste out uh, the final turn for Dynamax for Leafeon. But I thought we were going to do a lot more damage on that Leafeon. With that rock ball. Like it was stab. Plus four on attack. I just feel like sometimes the... Uh, the beat up combos just don't work. I feel like they're hit or miss on some battles. Here's my fake out. Even that flinch. Clap. Clapped on. Will Lewis popping. Tell me this thing's physical. I think he's going to roll out with Quake. Or maybe he thinks I was going for an ally switch. Yeah, there's the Quake. Did he think I was going for a switch? Nope. Target sound minus Denor. And yeah, it's physical attack. And it's easy eats all day. Special defense boost. So I think we got to start taking out this Rotom. I think we're just going to start Dark Slayer onto that uh, Rotom. I just got to keep hitting it and hitting it and hitting it. Left and right. Buffets all around for everybody. Everybody gets the Buffets. <laughs> I don't want that Rotom just like surviving for long. Just with special defense boost. Your Dynamax turns are over. Leafeon, I can, you're, you're basically out of this game. It's probably going to dig this turn. I'm not even going to lie. I know it does rock out with dig. Hmm. Tough choices. The choices, the choices, the choices. Um, I could Alex switch. I could go for a break and swipe. I could go for a beat up. I think I just gotta protect my Incineroar here. Right? Start protecting Incineroar. And getting after Shrotom. I just want my Dragapult to go down at this point. Just soak up some shots, be able to get in my Togekiss. Because the scope on Togekiss is what's gonna win this match. Leafeon does end up digging, that's totally fine. And that's, I'm not going to ally switch again, because that's going after my Incineroar slot. And this thing's going to start plotting up. So he's got to go. We got to get rid of this thing. We got to get rid of this thing. Dark Slayer popping. How much damage can we actually do? Probably holding a berry, too. That stinks. Solid damage. Berry popping, yep. Here's the berry. Hmm. Tough news for us. Not looking good right now, because that Rotom's scaring me. Probably going to try to uh, pop a T-Bolt onto me. T-Bolt can do a lot of damage. I'm trying to want an ally switch. But I can't. I can't, because then it, actually the dig would come into me, and I can actually eat up the dig. I could eat up the dig. Or I could just swap. I wonder what he's doing. Tough, tough, tough. This will just go for a breaking swipe. Might as well. Might as well. Breaking swipe comes through. If you avoids it, we're gonna try to get off a little bit of damage onto you. It's not too bad. Dark Slayer might be able to pick up the KO here. Unless he goes for T-Bolt into Incineroar. There's the dig. 
Yep, I knew it was coming that way. That's easy eats. And T Bowl into Dragapult. Go to Dragapult. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. This is a drag bolt, and I need to start to slayer to KO. This KO is we're sitting real pretty. Moan, Cinnamore, do him dirty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Run it. <laughs> Run it. Leaf Gun, I don't have to worry about you. You're burned, and you're minus one. Yeah, and you're minus one from Intimidate. Get this thing out of my face. Big KO for us. If you went for that T-Bolt on the Cinnamore, that would have been tough because... Then it would have came down to, am I surviving or if I'm not? And if I survive that, then I'm winning. But if not, then I'm losing. Let's see his final mod. We have our Togekiss out here with our scope lens, all that. Looking real pretty. And his final mod is... No, it is this guy. It's this guy. I think I just got to double down on the U. Try to get rid of this Pokemon. We are going to go for the Air Slash because we have a chance of flinching, even though we outspeed. But it's just bigger damage overall because it's a solo hitting move for one slot. Leafeon, dig underground again. Dig underground. Just, just leave us alone. But Charizard is not that bulky. So I feel like this, uh... If we can get off both these hits right here, that's GG's. Charizard, man. Such a good Pokemon. So cool, too. It's so cool. Definitely a top... It's definitely the top fire starter out of all of them. And then top water starters, definitely Greninja. Greninja is one of the coolest Pokemon in all of game. And I think Skeptile might take the grass category. Heat wave popping. The boys eat. They get off the burn. It's okay. We're thriving here. Thing's coming out. Yo, dude, that's totally fine. I can follow me next turn. <laughs> Just dodge it. <laughs> I can do that. Air Slash coming through. Show me that crit. Give me that crit. Yeah, that's a crit. That's a crit, baby. Dark Slayer is going to KO here. And that's GG's. That is easy. That's light work for your boy. 2 0. Oh? Your boy is thriving. Your boy is thriving. Use track out in both battles. The third battle, we're definitely trying to get Skeptile going. But this is a long video for you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying all this content I'm bringing you guys. A long video for you guys. Usually, they're about 20 to 30 minutes. This one's going to be pushing to 40 minutes. Maybe even longer. But we'll see. Raindrops. I'm just going to play around with this guy. I'm going to go for Flare Blitz, and I'm just going to follow me this. Unless he cancels the battle. The follow me is going to come into Tokus and make me avoid the attack. <laughs> So we're just going to do that. Things can come through here. Beautiful. Doesn't affect Tokus. Makes this thing pop up. Flare Blitz coming out here. And that's game over. Game, set, and match. 2-0 and oh to get this video started. We guaranteed ourselves that winning record. Now we can hop into that third battle. Show off that Skeptile combo and look for that perfect record. What is up with all these off-meta teams that we're going up against? I'm loving it. I'm having so much fun playing up against them. We're going into our third and final battle looking for that perfect record. And this guy's got a rain team. And he has Gyarados, one of my favorite Pokemon to use in online battles. So if any of you guys have yourselves a Gyarados team for me, send it in my uh, Jeans Instagram DMs. I would love to get my hands on it. It would be awesome. If you guys have multiple of them, send them that way. I would love to get in my hands on any single team. But I've been looking for a Gyarados team as of recently. Well, we got to get out Skeptile here. Skeptile Glalie is probably the combo to go into. Um, I really don't think we need Terrakion. Actually, we, we might want to bring Terrakion. I definitely want Incineroar here. It's either Terrakion or Togekiss. It would be better. It would be better. I think Terrakion might take the cake here. He does have Manetric for that Lightning Rod. I'm going to go with Terrakion. Final Pokemon right then and there. But yo, your boy's on a heater. 2-0. and Can we go back-to-back -back perfect records? I went back-to-back -back perfect records like uh, last week, I think. And then we went we went perfect record, perfect record into winning record. Or maybe losing record. I'm not too sure. But can we go back-to-back -back perfect records again? That'd be hype. It's looking pretty good because I, I do like this combo that we're rolling out with. He's going to go in with the Manetric and the... Uh, how do you pronounce the Pokemon again? Arikwinid or something like that? Aquanid? I totally forgot how to pronounce it. But it's a giant bug. We already know about it. I'm going to Dynamax you. I am going to... Uh, pop off an overgrowth and I think I'm gonna go after the Araquanid. That's how you pronounce it. Araquanid. I'm gonna go after that thing And I am going to proc my policy and roll from there. Trigger unburdened so we should be able to outspeed. We're gonna get that overgrowth. We're gonna get the terrain rolling so we can do more damage in our next shots. Dude, Skeptile is so sick. Y'all, I'm loving this Pokemon. I think Skeptile had one of the best mega forms too. It turned dragon and grass and it had a sick design. It was amazing all around. Definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. But I was talking about my favorite starters. Fire, I think Charizard's the coolest one. Grand Ninja, obviously, for water. But Grass, there's a lot of different options. But I think Skeptile takes a cape for me. 
always been one of my favorite Pokemon. He's gonna protect the Manetric, which hey, we're not going for that. So that's, that's a that's a perfectly dandy turn for us. Ice Shard's gonna proc the policy. Unburden's gonna come out here too, and we get a crit. Come on, why we gotta get a crit on ourselves? That's ridiculous. We're gonna be able to outspeed here. Hopefully, we pick up the KO. We'll see. It is stabbed. But it's not very effective. Let's see. Oh, so close. But clearly, we can just go for an Ice Shard and take that out next turn, no problem. Let's see what a Rack when it does. He's gonna go for a Bug Move. Let's see what he does. He's gonna go for a Liquidation to me. I'm totally fine with that. That's easy eats for Glalie. No, it's not. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Why? Ew. I thought he was a lot bulkier than that. What? What is that? Get out of here. What? what what's going on here? <laughs> um, I'm thinking Terrakion might be able to outspeed. What are we? 140. That's not bad. I think Terrakion should be able to outspeed. I'm gonna bring out Terrakion. I'll save my instant more for for the back end. Terrakion coming out here. I could protect. But I am just gonna go for the, that overgrowth. Finish off you. That'll take out Manetric, no problem. And then I'll just Rock Slide. Right? Rock Slide's play. Yeah. I'm with it. I think I should have went Incineroar. Incineroar could have been a little bit better. Because in all honesty, I could have dropped the Rock. Took it out the Manetric. Got the Sandstorm and did flinch damage. Or not flinch damage. And get uh, buffed damage over onto that, uh, what's it called? Over onto the Rack when it. But there goes down, goes Manetric. I think Trackhand should be able to outspeed here. Yeah, Rock Slide comes through, and it does connect. So we're running beautifully here. I don't know how, like, we're playing all these off-meta teams. It's so weird. Like, I never experienced this before. But every time I hit Master Ball Tier, I've been in Master Ball Tier since, like, what's today's date? It's the 13th when I'm recording this. So I've been in Master Ball Tier since, like, the 5th day of June. And we've just been versing a bunch of off-meta teams. Which is awesome. Oh, my God. This is over. This is over with. This game is so over with. Intimidate coming out here. Oh, we are physical. Tough news. We are indeed physical. Oh, that's double it. Ooh. I shouldn't say this game's over yet. Do I still drop a, Actually, I'm just going to drop a rock slide and uh, overgrowth again. All right, we're physical. Oh, no, we're special. That's fine. I'll take you out, and then I'm just going to rock slide. Totally with that. It is tough because uh, we are minus two now. He's going to Dynamax, I think, the Gyarados. I think he's going to Dynamax the Gyarados. Let's just see what he does. This is our last turn here. So Gyarados is Dynamaxing. It was looking good until Double Intimidate came out. So now he does have a shot. Yeah, that Pokemon's so cool. Gyarados is amazing. Here goes my Overgrowth. I think Overgrowth should be able to take out this uh, Landers, no problem. Yep, get him out of here, yo, dude. Skeptile is teeing off. Left and right, teeing off. I think we should be able to outspeed here. Yeah, but we're not going to do that much damage to it. So anyway, we're minus two. And hopefully he goes after Terrakion. He's going to go for an airstream. Nope, that's not going after Terrakion. Eat this up, Skep. Nope. Ooh. Ooh. So he, can't, he can't get a Moxie boost, which is nice. And we will get off an Intimidate on him. We will get off a lovely little Intimidate. All right. Comes down to this, and it, it's not looking good. He is orbed. He is orbed. But pardon shot, I think I just have to go damage. Strictly damage on this thing. This is not looking good for your boy. Not at all. But that minus one is big. That minus one is big. He does have speed on us. I am going to go Darkest Larry, and I am going to drop another Rock Slide. They're best bets. These are our best bets. I guess the guys are right. Mm. Eat it. It's Sinwar. Eat it, baby. Need you here. Eat it. Nope. Gyarados too good. This is GG's. He's going to go for another geyser and that's going to be over with. Dang. Double Intimidate comes through hard. Comes through hard, man. I maybe should have... Oh, that's what I should have done. I should have swapped Terrakion last turn. That's the play. That was the play. Dang, dude. If we would have swapped Terrakion, I would have went back to normal. For my stats and I would have gotten Intimidate on this thing. And we could have seen if we were able to eat this up. Let's see. Let's see this. No, no, not a chance. <laughs> not a chance, yo. Gyarados clutches up. This is why I want to use this Pokemon. So OP. Very, very cool. And he's not like staple meta, which is awesome. 
my boy Trenton, thank you so much for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. It rocked out so strong. We had Terrakion out here winning us two battles, and we got to show off Skeptile to his fullest potential, even though we didn't pick up that victory in the third and final battle. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.